We'll see you then. We are several days into November now, and the sports talk no longer just focused on college football. Tomorrow night, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons women's basketball team tips off a new season. They'll have a new head coach to guide them, Megan Jevia, and she's joining us live now here in our 7 o'clock hour. Coach, thank you so much for being here. I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me today. Well, speaking of being thrilled, where is the excitement level right now as you're kicking off this new tenure? Oh my gosh, um, everyone's super excited. Obviously, we want to kind of showcase what we've been working on all summer. And I think it's the non-conference uh, schedule. It looks pretty good this year. So I think the team is even more excited about the competition that we have in front of us. And, you know, just trying to get build uh, through the non-conference schedule to get us to the ACC. So you got to work Wake Forest just a few months ago. How has that transition been for you? How is the team adjusting to your coaching styles or getting ready to hit the court this week? Oh my gosh, uh, the adjustment's been terrific. It's been uh, quick, as you probably imagine, yeah. but um, try, still trying to find a house right now. But uh, at this point, I mean, I think the team has adjusted very well. They uh, seem to pick up the system that we're trying to implement, and they're excited again about showcasing that. But I think just the community here is, is terrific. I've been welcomed by everyone, um, and they're excited about this new uh, era, and so are we. So it's just it's right around the corner. It's like a day away. So uh, sooner the better we get there. Definitely. You were talking about the season ahead. We all know ACC, a very competitive conference. What are your goals for this season? What do you expect to see from your team? Well, I think our goals are really just to try to our best to get back to the uh, top half of the league, uh, try to get to the NCAA tournament. Um, I know they did that two years ago, so we're not far removed from that. And we have a lot of the players on the team that went there. So we have the experience. So I think it's just winning the games we're supposed to win, um, taking every opponent seriously, trying to build on our system on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. And then, you know, hopefully you can win some of those close games that uh, maybe we didn't win last year. Right. So give us a little insight into the home games that are coming this month leading into conference play. What do you want those fans to know as they come in to see these matchups? I think it's the excitement. I think, you know, you want them to watch um, the team have fun out there. I think at the end of the day, you know, people get excited about teams that are excited about themselves. If that makes sense. Um, you know, and just we're, what we're trying to implement is sharing the basketball, um, having everyone contribute, I think, on both ends. And in trying to have a bench, I think we have a pretty deep team this year. So getting minutes and, and, and really sitting some kids that uh, that took played a lot of minutes last year, trying to keep them healthy. So when we get to ACC play, they're ready to roll. So, yeah, I mean, the excitement's there for sure. We've had some open practices. We had an exhibition the other night, and now we open up at the Joel on, on Monday at 5 o'clock against Elon, and I'm super excited. That's what I was just about to ask. I have to admit to you, I am an Elon alum, but now oh, that I'm living oh. in Winston, I, it's a win-win it's, it's for me, whoever, whoever <laughs> wins that game, I must say. Um, but this is, I want to note here, this is not your first time as a head coach, so how has this uh, team been different in your experience going into this season? Well, I think um, at this level, they treat themselves like professional athletes. I think it's a little bit different from that perspective. Um, they're very locked in. They really care about the academics and the basketball, which is really nice. I mean, that's what Wake Forest is all about. So, yeah, that's been kind of neat. And then I just... You know, for them, it's it's the grind of the ACC. That's different than what I've experienced, I think, in the past and how difficult each game is. And you have to bring your A game every uh, every night. So I'm um, looking forward to that challenge, and I know they are. Um, they're going to kind of help us, I think, out a little bit because they've been through it. And we've talked to them a little bit about what that's like, and they're just like, got to be ready. So I know that uh, the focus is there, the excitement's there. We just got to get to Monday. <laughs> All right, Coach Jebbia, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. I want to bring up that full screen one more time. We have the details of that game that's coming up tomorrow, I think, at 5 o'clock against Elon with Wake Forest. So good luck tomorrow again. Win-win for thank both so of much. us. So I yep, appreciate thanks. you being here yep. to chat with me this morning. And a quick reminder for you, you can follow the women's basketball team and how they do throughout the season right here on WXI 12. You can get updates on our app or our website. Just look in the sports section, of course, on air. We'll bring you those sports.